now we go to Larry and, hey, what do you think? What a, <laughs> what a mess. mess. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. You know, yeah. Ken, however this turns out, if, they, if they're able finally to certify the results, which I think yeah. is even in doubt at this point, yeah. but if they come up with their results in Iowa, the officials there, uh, you know, the winners are going to declare victory, but that's going to be challenged by the losers right. who are going to say, you know, the results are muddled and they're not valid. So right. nobody's going into New Hampshire right. with a clear mandate now. Although um, uh, Bernie Sanders' uh, team was on the air last night saying that according to their own internal polling, uh, they won. But yeah. yeah, everybody's going to be challenging everybody. Well, else that's yeah. Well, Budacek, Budacek said he won. I mean, he won. They said yeah. they won. <laughs> and Sanders said he. Won. So there you go. You know, well, the only is... the only one that I think came comes out ahead is Biden in the sense that everybody said he came in fourth, but then he he said you know it won't be made public. You know, I mean, it, he said he did okay as well. You yeah, know, so. yeah, well, you know, they're going to say too. You know, who knows who really won? <laughs> so. Right, right, right. But I mean, it's just a crazy system. I mean, I I think I think it's the last year for Iowa. I mean, you know, it should be. Yeah. This whole caucus system, at least the one that they have out there, is ridiculous. Yeah. It's only a, a tiny fraction of the Iowa population they show up. Right. That right. show up. You know, it's a, it's a, it's just not. It's not like just going to the polls, pulling the lever, and you're out. You're done. Right. It's right. over. Yeah. You know, you've got to stay there for hours. You've got to talk to right. people, and the whole thing is so convoluted and yeah. doesn't really reflect the general yeah. population and the state itself, of course doesn't reflect much of the <laughs> diversity of the U.S. Right, so right. It should be dumped, you know, just a strict primary and that's it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Maybe they'll do that next year. Now, yeah. what do you think about this Bloomberg thing? You know, I had to really do a lot of editing on that Michael Moore piece. I mean, he was yeah. doing a lot of cursing and all that. And uh, Well, you know, he, he's, I, he's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, Bloomberg bought, bought his way into this, in, into a rule change, you know, right. which shows, again, how money talks in politics, you know, no matter how the, 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 they uh, mount the stage with all this high food and rhetoric and all these constitutional principles and blah, 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 blah. It comes down to money and everybody knows that and it's becoming increasingly obvious right. with Bloomberg, right. just the latest added element to, to the obviousness of it all. Right. Well, I've been watching, noticing that even the mainstream media, I mean, I think they're, they're out to get Bernie. I mean, I think uh, the yeah. DNC and, uh, you know, uh, they don't want him to get the nomination. Yeah, again, you know, he he's being uh, he, he's he's being deep sixed against. Yeah, right. last time around it was stolen right. from him the nomination, and they're trying it again. Yeah, but on the other hand, we did a piece earlier to this morning from. Uh, well, actually, uh, Ezra Klein has this book out about why we're so polarized, and he says he feels the election is going to be about identity. Forget the uh, policies. Forget health care. Forget all that. You got to go with uh, try and change people's identity, you know, affiliation. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, is he saying you mean it's a cultural uh, identity? That yeah, it's cultural identity. Office? Yeah, right. It's cultural yeah, identity. I, I it's so. race. And it's people, tribal. People vote emotionally. Yeah, right. that, that is an established fact, and that's why Trump has been so successful. Because first of all. He knows how to touch those emotional buttons, right. and he's playing off the dissatisfaction of the general electorate. So, you know, it's, it's you know, no matter what people say, they think it's out, it comes down to a, an emotional attachment to a candidate and his so-called principles. That's right. what it's all about. All right, sir. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for coming One on. One more thing, though. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. The soapbox, you know, Trump is saying, oh, no. well, might he be allowed a box? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is making it even more colorful. I know. <laughs> All right. See you All later. Right. Okay. Bye-bye.